Is the political ground in the Rift Valley region shifting against the ruling Jubilee Coalition? Will the political differences between Deputy President William Ruto and Baringo Senator Gideon Moy split the presidential votes in the rich vote Rift Valley region come the 2017 general election? Now, well, according to political pundits, the Jubilee leadership should fulfill their promises as well as mend the differences between elected leaders from the region so as to ensure that the votes from the region are under lock and key. Chris Dairo has more on the rift within the Rift Valley region in this week's edition of Spotlight 2017. The slightly more than 3 million votes in the larger Rift Valley region have been the subject of supremacy battles between several so-called kingpins of the Rift. Battles that saw Deputy President William Roto pitch tent in Kiricho for days in the hunt for votes. The just concluded Kiricho senatorial by-election brought to the limelight the widening cracks that continue to emerge within the Rift Valley, pitting elected leaders from the region. Although the ruling Jubilee Coalition won the Kiricho seat in a hotly contested dress with Kano, it renewed the bitter rivalry between Deputy President William Ruto and Baringo Senator Gideon Moy. Kenya will be built by people who have ideas. And if you don't agree with the ideas we have, tell the country alternative ideas. Now, the teacher says, Tafadali, who's it to teach? Who's it to go to teach? Who's it? Now, in Guinea, when I say that in 2017, Bill Olifanya Kericho, they were at a Fanya Sasa Kwa Rift Valley. The growing rebellion within the Rift Valley region, analysts say, should be tamed early enough or else it will cost the ruling Jubilee Coalition at the ballot come the 2017 general election. Uh, the divide uh, is growing further in that uh, whereas the two strands, URP and Kanu, were coagulated eventually under the umbrella of uh, Jubilee. Uh, what is happening is that uh, the numbers within Kano have uh, swollen. Unlike 2013, when William Ruto basically had Kalenjin land under lock and key, going into 2017, as of now, that is not the case. Would you believe you? Differences between elected leaders in the Rift Valley region leave Baringo Senator Gideon Moy in a catch-22 situation. On one hand, he opposes the leadership skills of the deputy president, while on the other hand, he has no issues with President Uru Kenyatta. Kanu is an affiliate of Jubilee in a post-election deal signed with the ruling coalition. Their real political enemy is not the president. Their real political enemy is the deputy president. He's the one who stands on their way. And if the camaraderie between the president and the deputy president continues, then it means that Gideon Moy has to be in the shadows of William Ruto until he falls by the wayside. I think that uh, the reason people like uh, Gideon Moy have not talked about the presidencies, that uh, they still support President uh, Uhuru Kenyatta. I think uh, that uh, cannot be in doubt. Uhuru Kenyatta was uh, first uh, floated by the retired President uh, Daniel Arab Moy. During the two-day visit by President Kenyatta and his deputy to Nakuru and Baringo counties, Baringo Senator Gideon Moi and his older brother Rongai MP Raymond Moi were the only elected leaders who skipped the tour. According to political analyst, retired President Daniel Moi should not...